Choo choo! What's going on guys? My name is Turbo Jumbo and today I'm going to be showing you how to clean your car properly. After this video, you will know how to clean your car properly using the method I'm going to show you using just these tools here. Let's get on to show you what you need. Here are all the tools you're going to need. First, you're going to need water. If you don't have water, big ups to you for choosing to pay for Wi-Fi instead of water. Good effort. You're going to need a jet wash. If you don't have a jet wash, this is going to take a lot longer and you also are more at risk of damaging your paintwork. This will help remove all of the dirt and sediment off your car before you've even started touching it. Next, you're going to need two buckets, one for dirty warm water and one for car shampoo, warm water that is clean. Next, you're going to need a wash mitt or a sponge. I prefer a wash mitt because it allows you to get around the contours of the car a little bit better than a sponge because your hand's actually in there. Then you're going to need something for your wheels. These are just alloy wheel cleaners. If you've got stupid wheels like mine need to get in and out of the crevices, these are perfect for that. Then at the end of the clean, you're going to need something to dry the car. This is actually a dog grooming uh, towel, but it works perfectly. If you have a chamois leather or a car towel, that will work fine as well. Finally, of course, you're going to need some good quality car shampoo. This is not sponsored, but I use Demon Foam because it's the one we've got at the minute. Any good quality car shampoo will do. So, step one will be to jet wash the car thoroughly to make sure that all of the dirt and road grit is removed from your car's paintwork before you touch it with a wash mitt, helping to reduce scratching. Step two is to soak the car from top to bottom, finishing with the wheels and the underside edges of the body. Step three is to jet wash the car one more time all over to ensure all residual car soap is removed. And finally, step four will be to dry the car with a chamois leather or car towel to avoid unwanted watermarks being left on your car. And also make sure that you go right up underneath these wheel arches. Give your car a good squirt and then make sure you go round the alloy, round the tire and don't miss any bits along the bottom including underneath the sills here, round the edge. You want to go up underneath the skirts and get your rod in there. Just underneath where you can't see, the bodywork goes underneath and clips on. Make sure you get up under a skirt here and give it a good squirt with the old rod. Rado. You know what you need to do the job and you know how we're going to do it. Let's get on with jet washing the car as step one. Start by jet washing the car from the roof downwards. This way you can start from the top and end at the bottom, ensuring that you don't miss any parts of the car. Jet washes can be powerful, so take care when handling them and also ensure that you don't get too close to the paintwork to avoid any damage. As I'm doing here, ensure that you remember to wash inside your wheel arches between the tyre and the car body. A lot of road dirt gets up in here and it can contribute to rust if not cleared away. Continue to jet wash the whole of your car until all of the surfaces are wet and as clean as possible so that you can begin step two, soaping the car. So your wiper blades, make sure you move them out of the way so that you can clean underneath here. These are the intake vents for the air conditioning and heater, so make sure these are clean as well. The cover, make sure you remove it but don't spray jet wash directly on here. Just remove the cover so you make sure you remember to clean round here because this, if not cleaned and dried, can rust and that is a serious problem and an expensive fix. So make sure you clean in here and dry it off afterwards. Exhausts. Try not to spray too much water down these. Exhausts do corrode and you don't want too much water in them. Just a rule of thumb there. So now that we've done stage one and we've jet washed the whole of the car thoroughly, with the magic of editing. All right, two full buckets, one with your car shampoo and one with your clean water for your sediment. When you're washing the car, you wanna start from the top and work your way slowly down the car in three sections. I will explain as I go on. Let's get on with step two. As previously mentioned, make sure that you work from the roof downwards, top to bottom. That's because there's the least sediment on top of the car and the most down the bottom. You do not want them mixing. At this stage, soak the top of the roof, the top of the boot and the bonnet. As seen here, make sure that you are regularly rinsing your wash mitt in your clean warm water 
to ensure that no sediment mixes when you put shampoo back on your wash mitt. This will ensure that you do not have grit and dirt in your wash mitt which will scratch your paintwork when you apply the shampoo again. Now that you have cleaned the top three surfaces of your car, jet wash the whole car again to keep it nice and wet. We like wet. So once you've done all your top surfaces, you want to move down to the next level. And a good little tip is to use a line on your car's bodywork, which you can follow all the way across. See the door trim here, and you can clean down to that level. Also, another useful tip is, say you've just cleaned this bit here, a good idea is to just overlap into the next section slightly so that you know you're not gonna miss any parts on the overlaps of the three sections. So the top surfaces, the middle bit here, and then the lower bit below the door trim all the way round at that level. So overlap slightly and you won't miss anywhere. Next, start work on the center portion of your car. Above the door trim, but below the window. Keep that level in mind when working round the car on the front, back and sides. You can see here that I am not going back up to the top surfaces or below the door trim line, which you can see here. Now that the top and central surfaces of the car are clean, jet wash the whole car off again to make sure that all of the shampoo you applied has now been removed. Also, wet the lowest portion of the car all the way round so that is ready to be cleaned. So we've cleaned the top surfaces of the car, we've cleaned halfway down to the door trim, we are now going to do everything below this door trim on a straight line all the way around the car, so the back and the front, and this is the dirtiest part, so make sure that you are washing your sponge or your wash mitt out in your clean warm water and putting it back in your soap very often so that you don't put sediment back onto your car and scratch the paintwork. Let's do the last bit of the bodywork clean. So now we are focusing on all of the panels below the door trim line, which I am highlighting here. Everywhere below this line around the whole body of the car is now going to be cleaned. This is the area where most of the dirt, grit and sediment will be from the road because it is closest to the road surface. Take extra care to use plenty of lubrication to ensure that you lift all of the dirt and grit off of this most vulnerable section on your car. Finally, wash the whole of the body again from top to bottom, ensure that the whole car is wet and remove all of the soap that you have applied. Okay, so at this point you should have done the top surfaces of the car, the middle portion of the car down to the door trim and then below the door trim as well all the way along the bottom sill, all the way around the car. The only place you shouldn't have done yet are these small parts in the wheel arches and actual surfaces that are underneath the body kit itself. They get the most grime and dirt from the road, so we leave them to very last. Now we move on to the wheels. Four wheels to do. This is how you do them without missing any parts. First, go once round the tyre. Make sure that the tyre surface is clean, facing outwards. Next, go once round the rim, make sure that's clean on the outside. Then move to your centerpiece, clean your symbol, clean your wheel hubcap, and then clean the grooves out that your wheel bolts sit in so the centre is done. Then move back to the outside and clean all the front facing surfaces first so you know they're done. Finally, find your tyre valve here and you're going to start on the inside faces cleaning these parts here which are hardest to get to and you move round in a clockwise fashion until you end back up at the tyre valve and then you know you've done the whole wheel. We're going to get on with these four wheels now, let's crack on. Start by going once round the outside wall of the tyre, then go once round the outside rim of the alloy. Next move to the centre and clean your symbol, your wheel hub cap and also your wheel bolt hole recesses. Get your fingers right in those holes and give them a good old rub. Next, clean the outward facing surfaces of the alloy or wheel that you are working on. Finally, find your tyre valve and start cleaning round the alloy or wheel in a clockwise motion 
all the way round until you end up back at the tyre valve. This way is a surefire method to ensure that you won't miss any part of your wheel or alloy when cleaning them. And there you have it guys, that is the fail safe process to clean your alloys or wheels without missing any parts. We can leave this with soap on it now and let's go and do the others. Right then, all four wheels are now done. Last piece on the bodywork is just the underskirt. I up, here we go. Just the underskirt here, all the way round, just rub your mitt or sponge all the way around the car once and you want to get all of this stuff off here. You don't want that on the car. You, can, you can't see it there, but it is there, so get it off with your sponge, job done. So all the way round, don't forget this bit here and at the front as well, and your car will be good for a final rinse and then we'll dry it off. So for this final piece of the bodywork, I am gonna to need to get down low and show you where to clean underneath the sills here. Uh, I do apologize in advance for the builder's bum if you see any, but I promise I'm not flirting with you. But I mean, uh, if you do enjoy it, drop me a comment and I'll uh, get back to you with my number. Cheers, lads. Oh, it's so low. Oh, yes. As you can by now probably tell, I have the flexibility of a breeze block. This last section is the hardest part to clean in terms of physical stress, however it's worth it. Check this out. Alright, so just to prove to you that it's worth cleaning this lower portion on your car, this is everything I got off it. You can see all that dirty stuff there. You don't want that on your car. Rid the dirt from your missus. This is a good thing to do. Do the underside, you'll thank me later. Okay, step three. We just wash the car with the jet wash one more time, give it a real good squirt, squirting, douse it all over, and then it's time to dry it. And we are job done. Let's crack on. Give the whole car a final jet wash before we begin the drying process of step four. It's just a quick little final thing. This was the sediment bucket, my dirty water bucket to wash the sponge wash mitt in. This is all that came out all of that in there you do not want that back on your paintwork and that guys is why you use two buckets cool for the final stage and that is to dry the car so you see all these water droplets on here you don't want all this residue on your car you want it all wiped off otherwise when it dries in the sun it's going to leave horrible water marks and it's not going to look very good so we use clean warm water which is here and i've got my chamois leather which is actually a dog towel, but same thing, and it, all it is is absorbent. So what you want to do is squeeze it out, get as much water out as you can, and then use it to dry off your car. Let's go. Squeeze out your car towel or chamois leather to ensure as much water is out of it as possible. That way, the chamois leather will absorb the most water when you wipe it on your car. Dry your car from top to middle to bottom just as if you were jet washing or shampooing the car, as with the earlier stages of the process. Oh yeah, and there you have it guys. Step four is complete and our proper clean of our car without putting any scratches or swirls on it is complete. And look how shiny she looks. Beautiful, good job. Thank you very much for watching the video guys. I really appreciate your support. I hope you've learned something here and let me know in the comments section how you get on washing your car using the method I have just showed you here. In the next video, I'll be showing you how to polish your car properly so you can get an even better shine than what you see here now. If you're not subscribed already, consider subscribing and leaving a like on this video. Thank you very much guys. My name has been Turbo Jumbo. Keep it choo choo. Turbo Jumbo out.